my name is Stephanie and I attend Foundation Church. So recently, my seven-year-old Bryson um, had a terrible accident at summer camp. They were playing tag and he went face first into the corner of a stage and um, he was hurting really bad. So my husband took him to our local hospital and um, they misdiagnosed him, thought it was just a little mild concussion, sent him home. Um, but I didn't feel quite right about it, so I stayed up with him that whole night. And he wakes up about five o'clock in the morning in extreme pain. It's starting to turn red all around his eye and starting to swell up. So I take him to the Children's Hospital down in Fort Myers. And um, they did a CT scan of his head and found out that actually he had a fracture in the orbital bone. Um, and there was a really bad infection that was starting around his eye and an abscess that was behind his eye that was actually starting to push his eye out of socket. So he was in a lot of pain, in really bad shape, and uh, they started putting him on uh, pain management medication and some antibiotics until they could figure out what's going on. They ended up deciding that his case was too serious for them, so he needed to be rushed to Miami. They take him by ambulance. Um, I follow in my car. We get to Miami about one o'clock in the morning and neither of us had eaten all day. And at this point, his eye was so swollen, it was sealed shut and it was literally bulging. And it was just bright red. This random mother comes out of nowhere and she walks over to me and she says, can I please pray over your son? And I'm like, okay. So we laid hands over my son she prayed over him. So she leaves and then a little bit later, she comes back with a bag of snacks and she's like, God told me to give you some snacks because he wants you to have something to eat. I didn't tell her that I had not eaten all day. So I was just completely blown away. Now we're at the hospital in Miami. My son was in critical condition. He was uh, bedridden. Um, I wish I could say exactly what their diagnosis was at the time, but the Holy Spirit convicted me. And he said, don't even acknowledge Satan's lies over your son, because that's not the truth. I would speak the word of God over him and commanded to leave. And um, I called on some of my friends from Foundation Church. They were speaking life over him, healing over him. Um, whenever they would send me a scripture or a prayer, I would play it or read it to my son so he would hear it during the day. At nighttime while he was sleeping, I was reading scripture to him. Um, I was playing uh, Jonathan Shuttlesworth, Pastor Ronnie Howard Brown while we slept. So we were just constantly hearing the word and I just felt it was so important that we heard what God was saying about our situation more than what the doctors were saying about the situation. Within three days, we went from, this is critical, uh, we don't know what's gonna happen, he's gonna have to have emergency surgery, to, oh, he doesn't need surgery at all, he's gonna be okay. We were released from the hospital. So we get back home, they have, you know, obviously follow-up appointments with doctors and specialists, and every single appointment has resulted in the doctors being absolutely amazed at how quickly he's healing, at his progress, um, that there's no long-term damage or anything. Um, I actually had to pull out my phone and show the eye specialist the pictures of my son because he couldn't believe like how he went from here to here. Like it's just, it's, it's miraculous. That's the only explanation. So he's doing fantastic. There was a little bit left that we still were healing. Um, he had a little bit of swelling down here at the bottom of his eye and whenever he touched where the fracture was, it would hurt. So um, a couple weeks ago, Pastor Tom did an altar call and we went up and uh, he prayed over my son. And Bryson said when Pastor Tom laid hands on him, he just felt this overwhelming joy just all over. Then we start to go home. We're on our way home from church and Bryson's in the back seat and he's touching his face and he goes, mommy, mommy, it doesn't hurt anymore. I can touch it and it doesn't hurt anymore. And I look in the rear view mirror and sure enough, not only was he able to touch that spot of his eye without any pain, but all the swelling that was there was completely gone. Like it was just completely healed. It was all gone. So we just went crazy. We just started praising God and shouting and just 
rejoicing because he was 100% totally healed. This is my first Peter 315 testimony.